Good morning, lifers. Welcome back to the vlog. Uh, my name is Daniel Jesse, and I'm your host today. <laughs> uh, all right, so anyway, uh, topic today is going to be on stage fright. Um, you know, in uh, creating this vlog series, uh, one thing that you know, I really didn't realize was going to happen, but became very apparent is the uh, the issue of stage fright in front of a camera. And, you know, I mean, I'm a drummer, I'm in a rock band, I play in front of clubs, in front of hundreds of people all the time. And, you know, I thought that you know, being in front of a camera would be pretty much the same thing. Um, turns out it's not. <laughs> it turns out that being in front of a camera with nobody else in the room, except for maybe my little Yorkie here, <laughs> uh, it really is, it's crazy how there's stage fright in front of a camera. Um, that, you know, it's just like you find yourself procrastinating getting in front of the camera and like knowing, you know, I need to create content, knowing I need to. I have this topic I need to work on. I need. I have this whole list of subjects that I want to do. Um, things I need to talk about. Things I need to film. Things I need to you know to work on. But in the end, I find myself finding every excuse, every reason on the planet not to get in front of the camera because I'm scared. <laughs> because it's scary being in front of a camera, and I don't get it. I don't understand why. Being in front of a camera is more frightening than being on stage in front of hundreds of people at a club. I don't know. Maybe it's because, you know, when I'm with my band on stage, you know, I'm behind my drum kit and, you know, there's a barrier between me and the crowd <coughs> being my drum kit, being in front of us. Maybe that's that. Maybe it's because I'm not the only one on stage. You know, I suppose maybe singing a solo on stage in front of hundreds of people is just as terrifying. I don't know, it could be. Um, it's, you know, probably more comforting to be on stage with the uh, four other members of my band. That's probably part of it. You know, misery loves company, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's crazy that I find being in front of a camera way more intimidating than being than being on stage. So, you know, there's there's the saying out there, fear. Fear is an acronym, F-E-A-R. And what I've understood that acronym to mean is false evidence appearing real. And it's really true that fear is false evidence appearing real. That, I don't know, that maybe something I'm saying to somebody out there in YouTube land can relate to what I'm talking about. I'm sure that there's people that can relate. Um, <coughs> I'm sure that there's, you know, it's, um, you know, there, there's zero evidence behind why I should be fearful of being in front of a camera. There's, you know, there's, there's nothing here to hurt me. There's nobody here pointing fingers at me. I mean, I can't see <laughs> There's probably people on the other side of the on the other side of the camera on the monitors pointing their fingers at me saying what an idiot what a dumbass you know there's, there's probably that but whatever I can't see them they you know and they're not in the room with me so whatever I mean maybe they'll leave nasty comments and sure leave nasty comments I don't care <laughs> sounds fun um you know but it really it just comes down to pushing past the fear pushing past the false evidence. It's not real. There's zero supporting facts that says that someone should be afraid to be in front of the camera, so it's completely false evidence appearing real. It's a total mind screw is really what it is. And being able to work past that, and really what it comes down to, is just jumping in front of the damn camera and start producing, start talking. And the, the beautiful thing about, about YouTube about this whole platform and everything is we have in a sense a time machine where we can go back and fix our screw-ups and that time machine is Adobe Premiere <laughs> the editing software <laughs> where you can go back and fix all your screw-ups 
take out all your ums and ahs and blah, 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 all that bull crap that everybody says, you know, all the filler words, you know, so video editing makes it so that you can go back and polish that turd, you can polish the crap out of that turd and make it kind of shiny, but not really, but it still is going to sink, whatever. But <laughs> so anyway, that's what was on my mind today. Um, just, you know, I, I did my first video. You may have saw that a couple days ago. And that was my introductory video. And you could probably tell I was scared shitless in that video. And I was scared shitless in that video because, yeah, it's, it's intimidating. And like I said, it's intimidating, but for no reason. So I'm hoping that, you know, Basically doing this over and over and over again a thousand times is going to make it easier and I'm 100% confident that it will. It's just getting past your human nature and, <laughs> and the crap that we tell ourselves and the crap that we believe. And getting past that is really probably the first biggest hurdle in people not succeeding in their goals in life is they're afraid. And... 100% of the time, their fears are unfounded. Well, okay, let's not say 100. 95% of the time, your fears are completely unfounded. That, you know, everybody that has been successful in life, everybody that's done anything worthwhile in life, will guarantee and tell you that, you know, it's scary as hell when you start. But just do it, damn it. Just can do it. <laughs> just start. And so getting past that fear that, you know, people might laugh at you, people may point fingers at you, people might write nasty comments in the comments section. At this point, I invite any kind of interaction. You know, the reason why I invite any kind of interaction, please comment in the comments below, like, subscribe, all that happy crap, because the reason why I like that is because the YouTube algorithm loves interaction. Just like I love interaction, just like you love interaction. So do it you know i don't care if you write crappy comments happy comments supportive comments whatever just interaction is what helps me achieve my goals and it might make you feel better about yourself also i don't know that's cool so, so anyway um with that people um so in the comments below let me know about times where you've been scared shitless times where you were terrified to be either in front of a camera or on stage, or giving a presentation at work, or, you know, any situation. I want to know about your guys' struggles and how it relates to my struggles because I know that I'm not alone. I know that I'm not the only one feeling this way. You know, at the time, I'm terrified as hell right now. <laughs> That's just how I am right now. But I know that I'm not alone, and I would really love to hear your stories, your experiences, let me know how you got over being terrified in front of a camera or terrified on stage. Let me know how you overcame these fears and what you did to get past it. Were there techniques? I mean, was it breathing techniques? <laughs> was it visualization techniques? Um, what was it that got you past stage fright, the fear of stage fright? What, what pro got you past all of this? And... Also, uh, I'll be interested in knowing your end results. I mean, what happened after that? What was people's reactions? Were your fears founded? Were your fears completely unfounded? Let me know about your stories. I'd love to hear them. Comment in the section below. I'd love to hear it. I thank you again for watching this video, the second video on my journey through this crazy life of mine. Uh, I really appreciate all your support and everything. Um, yeah, please do hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, help me out, make comments, good or bad, I don't care. And, uh, you know, <laughs> as the saying goes, nothing interesting is ever accomplished by following the rules, guys. It's so true. Break the rules. Break all the rules. Love you. See you guys next time.